Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Mahanna Ghanim and in this vlog we'll experience an incredible overnight train experience from Luxor to Cairo and I will show you everything from booking tickets onboard meals our compartment and our sleeping system without further ado let's begin this amazing vlog if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and the like target on this video is 200 likes kindly support we had booked a luxury ac compartment to Cairo tickets can be booked online or over the counter before you enter the train station outside there are many snack shops that are available to buy chips chocolate this kebab flavor chips was my favorite and it is must try and coke is must after the dinner we reached railway station and now we are heading towards cairo the kids are excited amina just got hurt over here she was jumping and she fell we are waiting for our train and the first thing which i'll go inside and do is give you a full train tour delicious sugarcane juice before we board the train Nice. We took a train which is going from Luxor to Cairo. This is a sleeper train and we have two cabins over here. So come, I'll give you a look. We have a bed on the top where the kids are enjoying right now. Hey, hey. Video. So on the top there is a bed for kids and down we have two chairs. Okay, the chairs are fine and comfortable. So we have this mirror, uh, some electric socket and water. Let me check if it works. Oh, so there is as I said you there is a bed and down also they'll close the seats and it will become a bed. Up we have space for two bags i have one more cabin in this same train but i i won't be using it because i want to be with my kids and wife so we'll be adjusting here itself but i had to take a ticket for my son which costed me 550 egyptian pounds here we have got few buttons so this is for the light this is when we are going to sleep you can on light and this key is for ac so once you put this thing to the blue sign, it's cold, this is hot. And this is for music. But I think this does not work. And this button is when you need some assistance, you press this, then someone will come to assist you. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Good job. Alan, this is a big choo-choo train. And you have window seat. Yeah. Yeah. The moment the train arrives, you have five minutes. You have to quickly load in your bags and sit into the seats. So now it's almost eight o'clock and our dinner has arrived. So let me just show you what we have got. So let me add my tray. So the first thing is rice and some potato. Wait a minute. And the third thing is meat stew. And there is some sweet bread and tahina. Basbusa? So guys, this is sweet and this is basbusa. It is a famous Arabic dish. And the thing is, the food is really delicious. Now the so rice did not have salt. So when I added the salt, it is absolutely fine and the meat is so tender and juicy and it's like a meat soup. It's having uh, black pepper, salt and it tastes really good and most importantly, mo and most importantly, when you're traveling on trains and long journey, it's much better to have, it's much better to have very light meals. So guys, now after our dinner, this is our upper bed and this is the lower bed. So the seats are turned into bed. Oh wow! Amina woke me with the tutu train. I haven't read Baba. You treat the mama. I love bed. See out die. Bye bye everybody. And there are no toilets in the room so you can use the public toilets which are at the end of the corridor. There is a 
Early morning by 6 a.m. train staff woke up us before 20 minutes to our station at Cairo. Amina, you will fall, Baba. Come, let's go. Time looks as if I'm in India, Indian railway station. Most importantly, as soon as you get down on the Cairo railway station, many taxi drivers will approach you and ask insane amount to drop you to your hotel. They will keep bothering you. Just be strict and tell them that you have already booked an Uber and to get that Uber, you'll have to walk to the main exit of the station. Moreover, some taxi driver will tell you that they are the Uber guys. Never fall into their trap. Always call the Uber driver to know his exact location.